what's going on everybody broken games hdr back at it again with another video and uh when i finally made another video i was hoping it would be something good something positive something for us to be excited about because it's been so dry out here for weeks what seems like a month but no we got bad news unfortunately nothing to be excited about and uh what it is is uh sony is raising the price of the PlayStation 5 in certain territories due to global economic environment and soaring inflation. That's what they claim this is. And yeah, of course, that is actually happening in the world, but you know, you could just, you know, chalk that up to convenience of them also wanting to raise the price, whatever you believe. But before I get into that, I just wanna say, the bigger story of all of this is the legend of Kid Smooth is continually growing. This man, Kid Smooth, his powers are unlike any we have ever seen. We call Kid Smooth the reverse domino. That's what I call him. Because any he's 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 literally a walking curse. Anything he roots for, anything he desires, anything he says, the exact opposite happens. This is not coincidence. We have tested this out in in very very m meticulous and using, you know, a lot of scientific method, it's it's without fail. Kid Smooth is the reverse domino. His powers are growing. He becomes more powerful, like, by the, by the month, by the year. What I'm talking about is this. If you've known Kid Smooth for a long enough time, right, then you would know everything he says. The opposite happens. It doesn't matter what it is, right? And that this is why Bond continues to make bets with Kid Smooth, and he continues to win. He's been doing this for years, and I don't think he's lost a bet yet because whatever Kid Smooth says, the opposite happens. Something bad happens to the to the entity that he speaks positively about. So if you're looking on the screen right now, you're seeing a video. Kid Smooth made, not even 12 hours ago yet. I'm rooting, let me move my move my damn uh, camera. If you could see right here, maybe I could zoom in a little bit. It says, I'm rooting for PlayStation this generation and here's why. Now you know Kid Smooth is an Xbox guy, but he's not necessarily happy with what xbox is doing and the rhetoric coming from phil spencer and such and then he made this video and then we got the news of playstation increasing their price coincidence i think not i think not my friends we have nobody but kids move to blame for this this is all this man's fault all of his fault that playstation is doing this just without fail he continues to just just leave a, a, a wake and a trail of disaster and catastrophe everywhere he goes, everything he speaks on. This is absolutely Kids, Kids Move's fault. Now, and I'm, and that's, I'm, I'm kind of saying that in, in jest, but it's actually true too. There is lit, there literally a, a Kids Smooth best bot curse. So you can use that to your advantage but it could also work against you because we can't control what Kid Smooth says. But, you know, if you want something positive to happen, you make a bet against them or you say, you know, you get them to say something that you want the opposite to happen. So he's he's a nuclear weapon. He's literally a weapon of mass destruction at this point. He's he's like, bro, he's S tear on the mutant list. OK, Omega level mutant Kid Smooth is. Guy, as a dangerous guy. Okay, back to the news. So, yeah, this is bad news, right? Um, they're incre increasing prices everywhere except America, I believe. And, you know, I'm I'm very much a, a American, so I'm glad this doesn't affect me, even though I already have P two PS5s and didn't plan to buy another one. And I'm very much American, so I'm very bad with other 
uh, territories and regions currency. So gl I'm glad I found this article that explains the exact uh, currency difference that the hike uh, that the hike implements. Um, because when you go to the official PlayStation blog, which by the way, <laughs> which by the way, you know how Sony tweets out or promotes everything in the, that they post on the PlayStation blog? Yeah, you're not gonna see a post for this. They posted this around 2, 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And even though it doesn't affect America, they chose to do it when I guess Americans are, are asleep. Um, but I think other parts of the world that this affects might actually be up at that time. So, I don't know, weird decision there, but clearly they're trying to hide it from publicity regardless, and they're obviously not gonna promote it on Twitter or anywhere else. It's on the PlayStation blog, but they're, you're not gonna see them actually talk about it. They try to just slide it in there. So, um, Europe. This says, well, I can put it on uh, screen real quick. Let's go back over to the other screen. Um, Sony is not raising the price of the PS5 in the US. If we go down here, Europe, 50 euro increase. Um, so that's 549 euros for the disc version and 449 euros for the digital version. UK, what is it, pounds? Y'all got pounds for some reason? Um, imagine your currency being called pounds. You, you odd people over there across the pond. Um, 30 increase to uh, 479 pounds for the disc version. And, uh, 400 pounds for the digital version. So, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm bad, like I said, I'm bad, bad with currency and economics, but I assume, you know, all of, even though they have different actual increases, they all are equal to each other. That I guess that means like 30 pounds is equal to 50 euros, and that means uh, that's equal to 5,000 yen. I don't know. I took one economic class in, in college, and I got a C, and honestly, that was just because of, just, that was just because of a curve because everybody in that class was failing horribly because we weren't economic majors, but we, but we needed to take the class. So uh, yeah, terrible at this shit. Um, but yeah, 5,000 euros, uh, 5,000 yen increases uh, 54,980 yen for the disc version and 44, that's like, what is this? Like, why do y'all, I'm sorry, maybe I'm, I'm just, I'm just a biased American, but I feel like your prices should just be rounded up. What is this? Forty four thousand nine hundred and eighty yen for the di for the digital model. China. Uh, Why do you even say that? Juan? Yeah. I, I assume that's Juan or but because some <laughs> I'm like, what? Because sometimes Y's are pro pronounced as W's, I think. I'm so American, bro. Um, four thousand yuan, maybe I'm butchering that. I don't know. Uh, I know all of you in the comment section are gonna act, are gonna act like y'all know exactly how to, you know, all these currencies. I know y'all gonna act like y'all financial experts and economic ex experts and everything. Um, so a four hundred increase. Uh, that's a four. That's four thousand two hundred and ninety nine won uh, or yuan uh, for the disc version and uh, three thousand four hundred ninety nine yuan for the uh, digital model. Um, and the first one for the disc, Australia. Y'all get the freaking point. I don't got to read all of this. It's, it's 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 right in front of you. I don't know if this was, if I zoomed in close enough. Yeah, I don't got to read all of this. The point is they're increasing the joint, okay? And like all these other territories, um, except America, even Canada. I call, yes, I know it's Canada, but I call it Canada on that for purpose, on purpose. Don't think I'm an idiot. Um, so yeah, y'all get the point. They're increasing and it's bad. And usually... The only thing that I'm interested in, you know, other than this bad news is usually when PlayStation drops bad news, there's usually good news that comes with it. They're infamous for doing that. They're spin artists. They're PR spin artists. They drop some bad news and then they, you know, just tuck the good news right up in there so that it kind of like, you know, it alleviates the blow, makes the blow a little bit softer. But we haven't gotten any good news yet. 
it's still early it's eight o'clock when i'm doing this video we may get the good news uh later in the day or maybe next week we know there's rumored to be a playstation show in september they're usually you know that's kind of tradition so we hope that's going to happen regardless not say that makes this price increase any better people you know are saying that sony is going back to the cocky sony that they were in the ps3 and listen i'm not going to debate that i think there is some credence to to, to saying that and you know Let's be real, bro. This looks especially bad if nobody else does it. Because if everybody else is eating the cost of this and you don't seem to want to eat the cost when or yeah, you're probably able to eat the cost. You you have the ability to do that, but you just don't want to. Then that really looks bad on you. It's uh it's bad optics very very bad um optics it's not a good thing everybody else is gonna you know just fight through the global economic situation which honestly seems isn't it getting better it's getting better isn't it i think i don't know um but i assume it's getting better because even though the pandemic is still technically happening we are outside of the pandemic as far as people um, are concerned supplies are getting supply chains are getting better and, and all that good stuff so this is this is this is weird timing when things seem to be getting better it's very odd um but yeah it, it's it's not a good look it's it's very bad we have kids move to blame um yeah um it'll it'll be interesting to see the uh the fallout from this you know the results of this how if, it, if it'll actually affect sales in other uh regions where this price hike happens um we will we will see because uh it's, it's very it's definitely you know uh bad uh bad timing for them um because it's like okay well when things get better I guess what they consider better. Are you going to reduce the price just as well? I don't want to say quickly because I'm like, how long have they, you know, been planning this? A price increase doesn't happen overnight. Like, how long have you actually? And these these don't these prices don't go. Uh, I don't think they go in effect immediately. But how long have you been planning this? And when do you plan to, you know, reduce the prices back to normal? And and if you do it all, and then like we assume there's going to be some mid-gen refresh, not in 2023, but in 2024. So it's like you you definitely have to decrease them by by then. And the these mid-gen ref because you know the mid-gen refreshes usually take the the you know usually become the more expensive model. Usually, I don't know what the hell they're going to do. That's for them to figure out. They have to deal with this blowback and this bad PR. But it's not a good move. It's not a good look. You kind of could have just uh fought through this you could have dealt with it but let me know what y'all y'all think about this i'm just hoping some uh, an announcement for a show comes from it because this is obviously bad but yeah i'll catch y'all on the next video we were gonna do a game night this sunday um you know Fortnite because i finally you know because to to host Fortnite, um 100 player lobbies you literally have to sign up for a program right and i didn't know that Right. Why would you know it's kind of dumb? You have to sign up for a whole program, put in a whole information and all that stuff to host 100 player lobbies in Fortnite, because that's what we were going to do. But I had to sign up for it. I had to wait to be approved and all that. And I was like, OK, we'll do it this week. But a whole bunch of news happened this week. So. I don't know, um, maybe sometime in September, I think there's still going to be some dry, a dry week in September, maybe one. And then we'll do Fortnite then, because I don't think we could do it next week because The Last of Us. Uh, part one comes out next week, so as there's, and it's probably going to be news next week also. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, catch y'all on the next video. Peace.